same day, 15th hour. That's 3 p.m. You figured it out, Parker. You, you decoded military time. Listen, I had to do that because the DS and 3DS run on military time. Oh yeah, they do. I just kind of figured that out. Naturally, I guess. I don't know. So I was probably I was probably watching like Forrest Gump or something with my family. He's like, "Why is he say fifteen hundred or like something like that?" And then I it was explained to me, and I understood it. Hey, you there? Yeah, no, I'm just like, I'm looking down at my phone. I have bad uh, news. We contact the Republican Army about the group we apprehended, but they're still unconvinced that they were responsible. Okay. Hmm. I can't say that I blame them. It sounds as though they sustained far greater damage than we did. I don't know why I have a different voice. Give me a second. <laughs> Does that mean yes. <laughs> Hello there. Hello there, Mario. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> um, tell you. Hello there, Mario. It's your brother, Luigi. It's me, your brother, Luigi. Allow me to tell you about STDs, also known as sexually transmitted diseases. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, so I believe one of their air, air armored airborne divisions have completely have completed battle preparations. At this rate, an armed conflict may be inevitable. No. Is Gaius about to give the best speech of the world? Don't tell me, but I really hope he does. You'll see. Did you manage to get anything out of those guys you captured? Like who that guy with in the glasses who ran off was? No, but we, no, but we know we, they were paid very well. I don't. Or I keep coming up with random voices to do because they're fun. But ugh. <laughs> yeah, just who are you anyway? That man in the glasses called you one of the children. I also remember something about a silver puppeteer and a white rabbit or something like that. Hmm, very suspicious. <laughs> very suspicious. <laughs> Mmm, indeed. Anyway, hold on. I got this Dr. Pepper. I'm gonna open it now. Nice. What to do, what to do. I'm not really supposed to tell anyone about my, uh, affiliation. Your what? Affiliation? Wait, are you? You're probably dead on. Who is it? Yeah, you finally came. Red haired Reed! <laughs> hey, Lecter! Uh, I was about to I was about to say lecture or lecture or something. Lecter. It's just Lecter. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I mean, you remember Lecter from Trials in the Sky the Third and the Crossbell games? You know him. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Is Milliam connected to those games through this nope. guy? Oh just Lecter's here? Yeah. You wanna give me a rundown of who Lecter is? Nope. Is this game is this game gonna do it? Yep. All right, cool. I had some things to take up care of over in Crossbell. Sorting out an office of those for those scary people. Yeah, pretty much. Whoa, are you? Hmm, oh, I know exactly what's happening in Crossbell right now. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. What what what's happening? <laughs> Fuck you. That's what. Oh, great. Thanks. <laughs> uh, the red constellation just showed up. Memory serves. All right. That's correct, sir. Lecter Arundel. Arundel, I don't know. I'm Captain Lecter Arundel of the Imperial Intelligence Division. I have come to assume responsibility for the negotiations with the Republican Army. What? The Intelligence Division? So you must be. So you're Captain Lecter. Uh, yeehaw, partner. <laughs> I can never keep a Do voice. You? For more I than mean, two seconds. I, last time we had the joke that he talked like this the whole time, even when he was a small child and lost his eye. <laughs> By a colored pencil, yeah, I remember. Mother. <laughs> Mother. Please, I reside I require <laughs> milk. I'm very thirsty. Why do I you would talk like, like that? I would like a chocolate milk, mother. 
Mother, has father come back from the store with my chalky milk yet? Mother. No. <laughs> he hasn't. <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's just leave this to us. We'll have it sorted out in no time. Sounds like you've been taking good care of that little pipsqueak for us, too. Cheers, guys. Oh, bye-bye, everyone. It was fun getting to know you and all. I hope we can see each other again sometime. Oh, hold on. Wait. Oh, so she, they, see you later. So she just leaves. All right. Well, she'll be back later. Figured as much. <clears throat> Just can't believe a child like her is part of the army. It's almost like this game has a lot of political arguments for the idea of class divides and the, you know, how using things in the military is a bad idea. <laughs> mm. She's one of the Iron Bloods. Robots! To be a group of youths with high intelligence and special abilities taken in by the Chancellor. The, uh, the blood and iron chancellor. That's why they call called uh, iron blood. Mm. So what? why is Sarah able to also summon robots? Is she one of them? Maybe. It's never know. explained. Really? Yeah. Bullcrap. I don't remember it ever being explained. Well, maybe you guys haven't done all of Sarah's bonding events. Maybe that's what it is, man. I don't know. I am. I have heard many rumors about that Captain Lecter, Scarecrow, as he's known by some. I have given to, I've given to understand he succeeded in almost every unofficial negotiation he's undertaken. And even if Ch Chancellor himself is taking action, success seems almost guaranteed. Third Arbor Division, stand down to alert level 2. All airships currently on patrol are to return to Zendergate at once. Yes, sir! Gosh, we're gonna be getting back to Trista at like two in the morning, aren't we? Who knows? Probably. I mean, why don't you just let me take one of those cool airships? Fuck you. Do 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 Hey, we stopped the war, no big deal. Well, not entirely. Calvert doesn't seem to agree that things aren't happening. It's fine, Lecter took action, so we're probably okay. He'll use his devilish charm and dashing good looks to get Calvert to agree with him. Look at him. He looks exactly like Reen, but with red hair. <laughs> I also want to say that Lecter has the stupidest ability ever. Uh, and it's not explained what his ability is until Cold Steel 3, and I hate it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Is he a playable character in the Crossbell games? No. He's just a character in those games. Yeah. Okay. Lecter has a special ability, Come and you will have no idea what it is until near the end of Cold Steel 3, and it's really dumb. Oh, great. Oh, yeah, this guy! Comrade C, I wasn't expecting you to come all this way. A leader has to make sure all the gears are moving as they should. It sounds like the plan was a resounding success. Keep your pity to yourself. Our aim was to stir up a conflict with the Republic that would force him to let his guard down. To that end, this wretched state of affairs could hardly be called a success. And yet, even this outcome would work to our advantage in the days ahead. 
After all, my intentions are high. He demonstrated that he faces the risk of his ranks being divided without warning at any time. Okay. And neither the Icy Maiden nor Scarecrow can hope to outwit us. Oh, uh, well, who would the Icy... I'm gonna guess... Like... Mm, probably Claire? You remember her name this time! Yeah, and yes, Claire's the Icy Maiden. They might it probably called her that at some point, and I've just totally forgot because she's barely been in the story. We should begin making preparations so far for she the is. next step of our plan. The time has finally come to present ourselves on the world stage. <laughs> That's the spirit. Or... And then Elisa's grandfather went, that's suspicious, and called the police. Also, hey, oh, Sarah, boy. what's he doing here? At least all's well that ends well, right? Everyone in Group A is safe, and we narrowly avoided war with Calvert. Yeah, you stressed? I can help with that if you need, like, a, a back massage, or, you know, like, you need, like, a, a hot towel? I, I can get you that. It's fine. Though I can't <laughs> say I was expecting the intelligence division show up when they did. Is so this Sarah was here ready to like intervene and be like, all right, guess what? I'm back here again. You know, uh, go do this. The military right. uses them for reconnaissance. The nobles and the rich just use them for fun. But as for how they got one. They built it with their own two hands. You wouldn't happen to know anything, would you? <laughs> Oh, you just really chilling. are a sharp one, Lady Sarah. It's almost troubling. I'm impressed that you could tell I was there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you let me have that one. I felt a familiar sensation, though, just for a second. Makes me think back to this one time two years ago. <laughs> I'm being vague because a normal person would have just said what it is. Right, but this is an anime two game. Two years mm. ago, you say? Never mind. But you really don't know then. Dude, I'm so... I'm, I just want... Tell me more about you and what is going on with you, please. I want... I want... Let me in! Let me in! <laughs> Where that airship came from? Hee <laughs> hee! I'm afraid not. I checked the Rhineford Group's manufacturing records and couldn't find a trace. I can't tell if they're working together or not. At least not in the official files. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like Reinford has its own issues to deal with. Mm, inside trading. Well, let's put that aside for now. I'm mm. on my way to the settlement. Mm. What are you planning to do? Hmm. Well, I would like to give my regards to Master <sighs> Gwen, so I would like to accompany you, if that's all right. Elisa's gonna flip when she sees that Sharon's here. I can hardly wait to see the look on Lady Elisa's face when I show up. Sometimes I just gonna be like, feel bad for that girl. Sharon? <gasps> They'll probably just be Sharon. What are you doing here? <sighs> now I can't wait for when we get like the like the Dracen like the Drake and Josh moment with Elisa, like when they're like, "Wait, what's going on, Megan?" But it's like Sharon. <laughs> You know? I get ya. I like how you're here because you really like the Trails games. And when I ask you what's this character like in the other game, you've just been like, J just play the No, don't worry about it. It's like, what? what? Just tell me! What do you want to know? Well, because I just want to know, like, what they do in-, in I, Like, I want to know what Lecter does in Crossbell. Is he just- He, uh, just kind of like- he helps deal with um, what's going on right now in Crossbell is we're nearing the trade conference, I believe. All right, so what is the trade conference? Is that like the big moment in that game? There's one of the big moments in that game where it's a trade conference with Crossbell, Erebonia, and the Republic, and Liberal. Mm. And uh, that course... happens. We're starting to near that point. It's probably a couple months out, but they're readying for it. Okay, but in Crossbell, so but it's held in Crossbell because Crossbell is Switzerland. Crossbell is basically not just Switzerland. They also I don't even know if this is actually also Switzerland, but they also pretty much 
there, there is a trade center of, of Zamuria. Because uh, it's well, like... Because they basically, from what I've heard of Crossbell, it's like one big airship... Oh, uh, like, airship depot or airport, I guess, is the way to put it. Like, uh, not really. I mean, it has its own areas outside of Crossbell City, but, like... Okay. You're mostly going to be looking at Crossbell City right now, and the, the, the trade conference is about to happen there. Lecter pretty much got things set up to make sure security was all tight. And I'm guessing, I'm guessing that security was in fact not tight enough. Probably not. Um, in uh, in the Sky Games, he's not in any except for the third in flashbacks because that's all you get in the third to expand the world is flashbacks. Uh, he's in a couple different flashbacks. Uh, some going back to the Janus Royal Academy. Some going up to him, kind of being an asshole next to Gilead Osborne. Mm. Uh, and you get a cool scene with Olivier where he shoots a rose. Nice. Hot. Olivia was there at the very beginning of the game in the in the old schoolhouse, and he has not shown back up. Well, I mean, you might see him again soon. You never know. Well, I know I'll see him again soon, because he's in this game. Great. Right. Right. And I'm bad at explaining things, so All right, well, there's that. It's fine. Uh-huh. Oh, the railway guns we built five years ago. We're going to keep bringing them up so you don't forget that those exist and will eventually fire at some point. We know this. That's going to be the... I don't know if it's the climax of the game, but it'll be a point. Okay. I mean, yeah. He, he's just saying that, yeah, they, they're fucking tools of mass destruction. They're not even for war. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like a nuke. What do you use a nuke for? You don't use it to... You, you can't use a nuke as just a weapon in a war. That A nuke ends a war. A nuke has ended a war, and then a nuke was never used again. Well, kind of shows our hand that America is the only country that's ever nuked somebody. Yeah. Twice. The only two nuclear bombs ever dropped in a, in a hostile manner, and they're both American. Yup. And it was all all because America said we're not going to give gas to Japan anymore, and here we are now. <laughs> and they attacked Pearl Harbor. Well, that's, that's because they America said we're not. Well, you you teamed up with a bunch of radical uh, a radical group of people that are currently bent on taking over the world you know who they are <laughs> um you joined a group that's like all right how do we stop one country from taking over the world and then a bunch of countries are like all right let's take over the world yeah. and the rest of them are like but we we told you not to do that <laughs> so we're not gonna give you oil anymore because we don't agree with you and then they blew up a major military base and so that, and then you know what happened. And then the U.S. said, "Hold my beer." Even though the war was basically about to end, and they did it anyways. Like basically, Russia was getting ready to go into Japan. Um, right. But America was like, "No, no, 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 no! We got this! We got this! We got this!" And then they dropped a nuke. You know the reason Russia was pretty safe in the war, right? Uh, I, uh, sure, because this is what we're talking about. Why not? Uh, I don't know. Well, it's like you know, it's it's just the fact that like, like they get they were attempted like there were attempts to invade Russia at many points during the war, but it's so fucking disastrous. Oh yeah, Russia. it's it's a hellscape. There's a reason that Russia has all the land it does. It's because the only people that want it is Russia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Russia is a nightmare country. <laughs> and then and then the Germans like starved and froze to death and are like, let's let's just leave Russia alone. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll just make them really not want to fight us anymore. Or something. I don't know. Drinks are on me someday. <laughs> someday. Did you get nest this chapter, Parker? I hope so. Perfect! Yay. You guys are the best! Thanks! Alright. 
Neat. Like, is that the only one that got the three? Dang. Well, you're already with. You're already on three with a bunch of them. I think I'm only on two with Emma, but I think I have three with Yusus, Gaius, and Elisa now. Hmm. Anyway. That's enough. That's enough war talk for now. Yeah. Now let's talk about fake war. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> July, we just decided to show that we we do know things outside of video games. So yeah, now we're gonna go back to talking about video games. Oh, uh, we're in Heimdall. <laughs> Heimdall is where we're going to this chapter, right? Yeah. Excite. I'm ex I'm excited to see Heimdall because they people keep they keep talking about it. Is that the Baron? No. No, is that uh, the, oh, what's his name, Drakels? Drakels the Lionheart, you did it! Yeah. Alright, let's listen to some politics! No, you get to listen to Matthew, Matthew Mercer talk. <gasps> oh, I was just wanting to know about Olivier, great! After this, I guess. Did I mix up this scene with another scene? Is Maybe. that Gideon? Negotiations with the Republican government are complete. The possibility of an armed conflict in the Nord Highlands has been successfully averted. However, they did demand that we hand over the mercenaries responsible from the attack as part of their terms. I mean, that that's Ooh. fair. <laughs> there is the same more damage, so, you know. I suppose that's acceptable. After all, it was a shortcoming on our side. Oh, that's oh, that's some voice acting. Oh, consider this a chance. Do you like that voice? It's a good death, voice, especially with the trade conference on the horizon. That's an aged man voice. Yes, sir. It's a good one. It's Though good voice. it's regrettable that we were unable to catch the mastermind. There's not a doubt in my mind that he's one of the ringleaders. I mean, he is. <laughs> Indeed. Arrest any silver-haired men with glasses. They must be persecuted as once. Exercise greater caution from now on. Of course. On, if this is what they're capable of. Our Make sure you get Wesker on the phone. I want to hear him festival. talk. Any thoughts as I to need the to know about the O virus. The <laughs> I believe their primary target will be next month's trade conference. Oh, in Crossbell? Yeah. Ah. Oh. I propose posting Lecter to the east and Milliam to the west. It's like you were on topic or something. Wow. That leaves me here to take care of the capital. Possibly. <laughs> it's almost like you read my mind. Very well then. I'll leave the preparations to you. Man, that sucks that the Crossbell games were never translated because they bring them up and it's like, well, what's this trade conference thing going on? And if you just don't know how to get that stuff, you'll never know. Yes, sir. <laughs> yep. With all respect, don't be afraid of working me hard, sir. Hey. I could run these kinds of logistics in my sleep. Ha! I'm all too aware of how indebted I am to your abilities. That's why I'm leaving the summer festival. I mean, if you just yeah, ask Lecter, I think he could do the same thing because his ability Perhaps sucks. Even consider using he has ultra math. <laughs> Not even. It's terrible. It's not even a spoiler. I'm just gonna tell you what his power is. He's really good at guessing things. What? <laughs> oh. Please excuse my intrusion, like... Your Excellency. <gasps> Who's that? Wait, hold on. Are you there, buddy? I heard a knock. Yeah, I'm here. I'm I heard, here. I heard a knock. That was that was the that was the game. Oh. I thought it was on your end. I thought someone knocked on your door. <laughs> His no, people don't knock in my house. Arrived and wishes to speak Fair. with you. Ah, show him in. As you wish, sir. Coming in. Oh, is that Machius' dad? Yeah. Oh, I got it right off the bat. Wears glasses, same colored hair. Oh, forget my Looks like a nerd. I didn't realize you had company. <laughs> and somehow, for some reason, sounds younger than Machius. No, it's quite all right. I just finished giving my report. It's wonderful to see you again, Governor. Likewise. I think it's been, what, two months since we last spoke? I know this voice. I'll look it up. Oh, no, I know it. 
I'm in your debt for helping out with the security arrangements at last month's commemoration event at City Hall. I've been looking forward to thanking you in person. It's... It's the voice of one of the doctors from Half-Life. Glad you have been of service. Is it? I'll be sure to pass totally. on to everyone else involved. Behind the voice actors, it. Anyway, if you'll excuse me. Good work as always, Captain. Dr. Kleiner, I think, is his name. Let me check. It never ceases to amaze me that a woman like that heads up the Iron Bloods. Your icy maiden has the provincial armies positively scared stiff. Oh no, I guess I'll have to now make half-life jokes too. <laughs> well, I, I, uh, I'm looking. Competent as she is, she's not the group's primary member. But she and the rest of the Ironbloods continue to do some fine work. Especially against those cunning vipers amongst the ranks of the nobility and the four great houses in particular. Mm -hmm. Uh, they don't actually show the English voice actor. Really? But we'll need to stay vigilant. Well, I'll, I'll put... Unless this guy voices him in English, too. I don't know. No, it's just Japanese. Don't show the English one. They just show his Japanese voice actor, which is weird. Go to the Kiseki wiki. That They probably have it. Well, that's the Kiseki wiki, though. Which means it's probably more Japanese information. Okay, well, the feeling's mutual. Then, I don't know. I need Chance this confirmed. Oh yeah, I was right. This it's, why did, did I call him Gillian? Gideon? It's it's Gillian. Oh wait, Osborne. Let's call him That's Osborne. That's exactly why I intend to go with him. Yeah. Oh, it's your man. He's here. There he is. Next month's conference may be the West Samoria Trade Conference in name, but it's far more than that. It's the region's first international conference in modern times, so the discussions won't be limited to economic matters. Regional security and other timely issues are sure to come up. I see. So that's why all the region's heads of state will be in attendance? Precisely. President Rocksmith will represent the Republic of Calvert, of course. Prince Albert Rocksmith. will be representing the Principality of Nefaria <clears throat> as its head of state. Crown Princess Claudia will be coming to represent Liberal in place of the Queen. Is that someone important in the Sky Games? She's one of the party members. Oh, okay, cool. And representing Crossbell State, we have Mayor Croix and Speaker McDowell. All of them are either heads of state or they're acting representatives. Meanwhile, Erebonia is sending Chancellor Osborne as a representative of the Imperial government. But Father is the head of state, isn't he? So does do you actually get to talk to Gilead Osborne in the in in Crossbell? Uh, yeah. Oh, cool. Indeed, and that's why I'm planning to go as well, even though I'm far from the ideal candidate. Why is your head smaller than his? The mm. Imperial family needs to be represented to make sure all sides are on equal terms. You shouldn't be so it's the harsh. The price on of yourself. being a pretty boy, I guess. But I Got think a small I understand the situation. K-pop soft boy head. I, I feel suppose. so ashamed. I shouldn't have to rely on you to educate me about simple politics like this. Hmm. Recently, I feel as though all my inadequacies have been. Oh, I guess it was just the, the angle. It looks more normal here. Yeah. I wish every day I had the intelligence and quick-wittedness you possess. And I wonder, am I truly capable of inheriting the throne from father? Oh, you're... okay. <laughs> you know, Her Highness Princess Claudia of Liberal once said exactly the same thing. She did? As the successor to the throne of Liberal, I've heard that she agonized over whether she was fit to become queen. Heard you were there. But eventually she came to terms with her own inexperience and vowed that she would strive each day to overcome it. And I have no reason to believe that my talented brother cannot do the same. Ah. Oliver. That was really close to the microphone. <laughs> I also have been saying his name wrong this entire time. No, he's called Olivier in the Sky Games. He's called Oliver here. That's his real name. Oh. Thank you. When traveling, he goes by the alias of Olivier Lenheim. Oh, okay. I was about to ask if it was a mistranslation. That said, no. I do think you should spend more of your time living life. I'm going to keep calling him Olivier because I'm willing to bet that's what you want me to call him. I don't you can think call him whatever the fuck you want. I call him both. Once in a while. Well, Oliver's a dumb name. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver, it's right. Say I, I am. I'm afraid. To be honest, I'm a little jealous of how being so open and carefree comes so naturally to you. <laughs> Well, I think it'd be less concerning for all involved if you avoided taking after me too much. 
I use a gun. That's it. You don't want to use guns. Guns are dangerous. Another. Thing. You could shoot yourself. Use a sword. Sometimes then you only cut yourself. That's also bad. But... Chancellor Osborne's strong-willed nature as well. Oh. He was quite forceful in introducing the Imperial Transportation Act last year. So many politics. Oh. <laughs> I've heard the number of orbital car accidents has fallen dramatically. I know street lights. They're amazing. I can see why Father trusts him so much. Well, I wouldn't disagree. That was a fine piece of policy making. Oh, does Olivier not like the people in charge? Not, of not at all. Okay. The campaign he launched with the help of City Hall was exceptionally well executed. But on the other hand, he is kind of a horse's ass. Honestly, don't you think it's a little early in the day to be having a another person? Great. Oh, you know her. Oh, small girl. Okay. You remember her from earlier? I don't remember her name. The one, the one who wanted to lease to fuck her brother. I, I know. I remember her. I didn't remember her name, oh. Alpha. Have your lessons already finished for the day? Indeed. They gave us the afternoon off to prepare for the summer festival. I'm guessing we're gonna get to do the summer festival. Um, no. Really? But yeah. Come no. on, Cedric. You need to stop taking everything so seriously. It's so weird. Like, usually we'd be, be back at Thor's by now and just chill it out, and now here we are We're in 15. all of this, like... It's far too oh, early for us to be worrying about What's the word for politics. it? Dramatic irony politics. Actually, Reen doesn't sure know about any of this stuff, but we're learning it. Are you okay with learning this, Parker? Well, I just, I'm afraid I'm gonna forget it all. I'll remind you, it's fine. Blushing if I forget details, you know them better than I do, you know? Shameful. Totally shameful. Oh, come on. Why do you have to bring that up again? Oh, jeez! <laughs> oh. You know, oh, that geez. did wonders for his popularity. The ladies at that party were swooning left and right. He was playing their maternal instincts like a harp. <laughs> that's a that's a weird way to put it. <laughs> well, I can't. He's a musician. That. Let him be. All right. Even some of the men there were fawning over him, saying Cedric was more of a youthful flower than me. Surely you're kidding, right? <laughs> ha ha ha! Gays, am I right? That reminds me, Alfin. I mean, have you decided on your dance partner for the upcoming garden party? Uh, yeah. You've always avoided dancing at official functions. <laughs> Curious, are we? Well, I do have someone in mind this time. Although whether I can get him to say yes... Jeez, I wonder, I wonder who it'll be. <laughs> uh, really? My, my. It sounds like you aren't just blowing smoke. Imperial Chronicle is going to have a field day when they find out. Oh no. It'll be like when Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie broke up. I still weep. <laughs> what are you talking about, Oliver? Someone? Don't worry about it, Cedric. You're too young for these words. You're too young to know the the deep intricacies of relationships you really shouldn't care about because it, they're famous people and they just kind of wish they could live their own life, but they can't because they've been thrown into the throes of the public eye constantly. Could it be a son from one of the four great houses? <laughs> That's for me to know and you to discover. He is a noble, though. I'll give you that much. Oh, that reminds me. Prince Oliver, I have a proposal I'd like to discuss with you. All right, so I want like seven cakes. Seven? Yes, seven. <laughs> Eight if you can do it, but don't push it if you don't have to. Oh my gosh, we're still not back yet. Okay. Don't worry, we'll be back soon. Where are we? Say Australia Girls School. What? <laughs> In the Heimdall Sank District. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Hey, Elise. Hey, Elise. I should open that letter from Reen that came in this morning. <sighs> I'm Please afraid stop that mailing me. It's really this. annoying. I don't like letters. <laughs> Bye. I'm Dear trying Schwarzer. to train my sword skills. <laughs> really, Reen? I want to just write, I'm trying to get into my teacher's pants. Please stop mailing me. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm trading my sword so I can impress my teacher. Please leave me alone. Love, <laughs> Reed. What? You fought a big spider. <laughs> Are we not actually going to know what the letter Reed, says? Why? Not so later. <laughs> And I hope you guys like episodes that are nothing but cutscenes, because you're getting them. Welcome to Trails, baby! No, I mean, it's just we haven't had one of these in a long time, and it's just cutscene after cutscene after cutscene now. <laughs>